Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at how we can add the Jackson library to a Java project so we can use it to work with JSON values inside that. Um, so this is going to go along with other videos on using JSON for Java IO and doing jo uh, data analysis with that. Um, as you can see right here, I've got my finder window open so I can have my Jackson download folder in my downloads directory and my actual JSON project folder right here that I'm referencing over here for using Jackson for JSON. So we can see what we do to actually make that happen. Uh, to put this together, the first thing we do is we're going to add the three um, libraries we need to add to it. So we have annotations, core, and data bind. Those are the three jar files we need to use to do the stuff we're working with inside our project. So those three jars need to be added to our project directly. Um, there's a couple ways you can do that. I'm going to show you the, fat, the way I like to do it so we can make sure it finds everything properly. So I'm just going to select these three files in my downloads directory. I'm going to drag them over into my project itself like this. Boom. And I'll choose the option to copy those files. So it copies them straight to the project. You can see that they're now listed in the project directory. If I go back to my finder window, and now you can see they're listed inside here, inside that directory with that as well. So that's now referenced in my project. And so if I put this in my GitHub, I can put it up there and I can work on it at home and have access to those same files, especially if you're working with a, um, a login system or a school system that doesn't allow you to use things like um, Maven because it doesn't allow you to talk to those uh, different server sites. It's a way you can actually grab that information and still keep it as part of your project. So that's what we're working with right here. I'm going to close that out right here because I don't need those uh, finder windows open anymore. Now that it's in the project, the next step that I need to do is I need to actually make it so that the Eclipse knows how to work with that. So I'm going to go over to my G, uh, using uh, Jackson for JSON project in my package explorer. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go on the right click. I'm going to go down to my build path and I'm going to use the add external archives feature right there. So it clocks, uh, click on right that there. And I'm going to go into my Java demos directory where I'm looking at right here for my workspace and I'm using Jackson for JSON. So I have that already selected. And as you can see right here, I've got the 2.16.1.jar file selected right there. So I'm going to select all three of those values, boom, 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 and hit open. So it opens them up. And notice how it changes the structure of my project right here. They're still listed in the same directory of that, but now they're referenced in there. So the build path actually knows that they're part of the project, so I can actually reference them in there. The object we use most for uh, working with Java I.O. Uh, with JSON is our object mapper. And so I can just go ahead and add that to my project now. So I can go ahead first, I want to do the import for that. So I'm going to do an import right here and com.fasterxml. And you can see it's already listed right there inside my project, .jackson.databind. And then object mapper is the one we're going to be working with. So that's the one that we do all the stuff with the read values and write values. That's the one we work with on that. And so now that's imported right there. I can go ahead and create a reference for it here as a data member. So I can make a private object mapper and be really creative right here and call it mapper. So public void demo, parens, squigs, and mapper equals new object mapper. So now I've created that uh, public void demo method. I've instantiated that object mapper. I can use that to call the read value, the write value methods that I'd be using within this project. As you can see, though, this is just a quick little demo. I haven't actually written that code. Take a look at my other videos on how we can actually work with um, object mapper to read and write JSON values and do some really cool stuff. This is just how you can actually add the JSON Jackson library to a project using it with Eclipse. You can do that. You can also take a look at how you can use that with um, using Maven for a project as well. Use that, do some cool stuff. Hope this is helpful. Cheers. See you next time. Have a good day. Bye.